percentage of our federal dollars goes toward transportation? And Michelle, I'll start with you. Hmm, I am going to say fairly low. 27%? Okay. Really? What percentage of our federal money mm -hmm. from the stimulus or? Just in general. In general. Mm -hmm. I would say 15%. Well, the real answer, or the correct answer, is 3%. <laughs> Not good. No, no good we all. need to up that, don't we? Yes, we do. Yeah. So you, um, Billy, ride public transportation often? I'm well. I'm just getting acclimated oh, now. Okay. But okay. I did in Boston all the time when I lived there. Oh, okay. All right. So are you new to Denver? Well, I grew up here, but I lived in Boston for 30 years. Oh. Okay. And just came back here. Okay. And it's it's changed a lot in the last 30 years. Okay. Well, so I am a travel trainer and I teach people with disabilities how to take public transportation. So I see everything um, good and bad. And I think right now um, we are really making strides towards making things very accessible. Um, I don't think we're there yet. We need to keep working on it. But um, from what I've seen, we're in the right direction. Okay. I don't know. I just really appreciate um, having the option to ride public transportation, um, to be calmer on the way to work and to use it when the weather's bad and, um, and, and it's just convenient, especially when you, you're around town, you've been around town and if you're conscious of um, you know, global warming and that kind of thing, it's just nice to have that option, feel like you're doing something about it. Great, thanks. Meg? Um, I agree, yeah, no one instance in particular. I usually take the bus probably four to five times a week um, in the train when I come downtown and I think it's just a great asset to the community and serves a lot of people, helps them get where they need to go and I think it's really valuable for a lot of different reasons. For different people.